Now let's talk about the MCHC which we called it mean cell hemoglobin concentration or mean uh, carpuscular hemoglobin concentration. What is this? It is actually the parameter of the RBC and the type of the blood test in which we check the average hemoglobin quantity in the whole RBC. Okay. And in this case, remember guys, when the value of MCH are become high, it means the RBC size are become larger. And when their value are become low, it means the RBC size are become small. In all the three uh, cases, in means in MCV, MCH, in all these things, the RBC size are disturbed. Okay just like in this case the rbc size are also disturbed but uh, due to the hemoglobin uh, concentration we can say now if uh, if there is low value of mch it means the rbc size are become low or small in size and it can occur and we call that a microcytic rbc what are the main purpose what are the uses what are the importance that why we perform that test we mostly perform their test to find out the severity and the main causes of the anemia. Now let's talk about the normal range of the in, uh, mean cell hemoglobin concentration. So the normal range is in male and in female. In both of the sex we have 33.4 to 33, uh, 35.5 uh, gram per deciliter. GDL means gram per deciliter. So these are the normal range in both male and in female. Now these are the RBC which we already talked in the previous size. This is this is the normal size of the RBC. This is the large RBC, small RBC. When RBC are in uh, in column like shape, when RBC have nucleus, we call it target cell. When RBC are in a uh, tear like shape, we call it tear drop RBC. When RBC are ruptured, when RBC are star in shape, we call it akinocyte. When RBC are round in shape, we call it spherocytes. So, so due to the abnormality in size of the RBC, what happen? The hemoglobin will be not pick up. Due to this way, the oxygen level are become low. Or due to this uh, size, the oxygen level are also become high. And the hemoglobin level are also become high. So the hemoglobin level need to be maintained. Not too much high, not too much low. Then we have the procedure through which we can identify the MCH. So for the MCH identification we need blood and we need hematology analyzer machine as you can see. So in this case again what we will do we remove the cap from the AGTA tube and then the AGTA tube which contain the blood we will you know uh, dip this needle into the blood and then press the button. Once we press the button they will take the blood a little amount of the blood and what happened they will count the uh, all the blood and then they will give you report almost after five minutes so after five minutes they will give you the report and in the report they will not only give you the mchc but they will also give you the all the parameter of the cbc like dlc tlc each and everything which we already talked to. then let's suppose if we do not have the uh, means facility and we not afford this machine and it is all of you better know too much expensive so then how we uh, find out the value or how we can uh, you know identify the mch we can uh, find out the mch by a formula like we have hemoglobin value and we divide it with the hematocrit and then multiply it with 100 we already talked about the hemoglobin that how we can find out it and we already talked about the hematocrit you can watch these two video lecture into my channel now how to find out uh, uh, when when we have the value of hemoglobin so we let's suppose we have the hemoglobin value is 15 and the hematocrit value is 43 so we will multiply these we uh, divide these value and then we multiply it with 100 after that what we get we get 34.8 picogram this is the value of normal range of the mchc okay now there are some condition due to which the MC this is MCHC okay MCHC then there are some uh, condition due to which the MCHC are become high and there are some condition or diseases or main causes due to which the MCHC are become low first of all let's talk about that how it can how the MCHC will you are get high 
due to auto amino hemolytic anemia what does it mean it means that if the R, uh, if the amino cells are become activated against the rbc so what happened the rbc are get ruptured or it can uh, be uh, hydro uh, means uh, hemolyze due to this way the anemia will occur means uh, low level of the rbc will occur due to this way what happened mch c will you are also get high then we have vitamin b12 vitamin b12 are needed for the rbc uh, to maintain the rbc level in the blood so due to this way rbc level are due to their deficiency rbc level are not maintained and due to this way mchc value are get high spherocytosis means a round shape of the rbc not the normal uh, shape of the rbc due to which it will not pick up the hemoglobin and due to this way the hemoglobin concentration are become high severe burn can also uh, cause the high value of the mch because due to this way the bone marrow are secreting large amount of the rbc due to which large amount of uh, mchc value are also then we have liver disease in which uh, the liver are not perform their proper function means it will not met, uh, doing the metabolism function due to which the mchc value are get high there is uh, then due to the chemotherapy uh, chemotherapy drugs uh, which we used for the cancer due to this way it can also affect on the rbc due to which the mchc value are get high then we have low mchc value uh, there are some reason and condition and diseases due to which the mchc value are become low we have iron deficiency anemia or iron deficiency means if there is lack of iron so what happen mchc value are become low how because iron are needed to make the hemoglobin then we have celiac disease in which the immunity are activated against a gluten gluten is actually the protein that are present in the wheat if the immunity are activated against the gluten so what happen it will also affect on the rbc due to which the mchc value are get low peptic ulcer can also cause the low range of the mchc hemolysis hemolysis means higher uh, uh, rupture of the rbc so due to which the mch value are become low hookworm infection means all of you better know that hookworm usually take their nutrients using the rbc they can take protein and iron from the rbc due to this way rbc are become low and due to this way the rbc size are also small and the hemoglobin concentration are also become low lead lead poisoning is also the main cause of the low mchc why because lead can stop lead can stop the hemoglobin formation when the hemoglobin are not formed so obviously the uh, rbc size are become small so these are the main causes and uh, reason due to which mchc are low and high so that's all about the mchc mcv and mch i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching